game showed up on my desk a few days ago. It's called Tukadin Kiwami, and, and I said, thought, no, nope, well, I don't want it. Must be for somebody else. It's clearly <laughs> not for me. I do not know what this name means. I took it home. This is a, a, a mashup between uh, Koi and Tecmo. They've tried to make a game together, and I, I thought at first this was going to be, oh no, it's another Dynasty Warriors. Yeah. And it's not really. It's, it's more of a monster. It's hunter. another monster hunter. Yes, and we looked at Tukadin on the Vita before, and it was a pretty solid Vita experience. It's a pretty fun game. This one's cool because it's on the PlayStation 4 and the Vita at the same time. It's the same core experience. I played it on the PS4, you played it on the Vita. And you tasted it a little bit on the on the PlayStation 4. I, I tasted it in all formats. You, you did, know, the, yes. thing, the thing that I like is the cross-save, cross-play functionality in there. I feel like they spent a lot of time trying to make that right, to yeah. get that right. Yeah. And I really appreciate that because now you can have an experience in your living room. It's not like I'm working for Sony. I know. I know. And then you can just play the same game when you leave the house and get on the bus. And this is one of those games, just like Monster Hunter is, that just goes on forever. There is a lot of grinding. There is a lot of finding weapons and crafting weapons and upgrading weapons. You find magic spirits. I think they're called uh, Mitami in here. And you fuse them to your passive abilities so you can raise your attack skills or raise your defensive skills or your replenishment skills when you're getting beat on in battle. And basically what this game boils down to is you are tasked with defeating these Oni, these giant yeah. demons. And they're, they're pretty impressive. That's like, what's so cool about this game, When they come right? rolling out, you're yeah. just like, now what? And yeah. what's this going to look like? And then you look at the detail. It's hard not to stand with your jaw hanging yeah. open when one of these Oni comes out. And you just look at all the detail and all the all the care and time and artfulness that right. went into creating these things. And then it starts beating the hell out of you. Yeah. And <laughs> three of your pals, because yeah. you can play this thing multiplayer. Or you have AI people populating the thing with you and fighting all these creatures. There's a lot of little grunt fighting in this thing, just like there is in Monster Hunter. There's also an invisible wall. There are lots of gameplay shortcuts as well. I mean, I feel like this genre really needs a devil may cry of paint or polish in this yeah. thing. The combat well, connection. Some sort of style and attitude because you're right, there is something that drives me away from Monster Hunter every yeah. time, which yeah. is the clunkiness and this, I feel so uncoordinated when I'm playing this game. And then you're right, I think Devil May Cry and uh, Ninja Gaiden are great examples of where I would like Monster Hunter right. and now this game to go because if we had more of that, if we had more of that free flow combat, yeah. I think I would finish all these games. Yeah, I mean, it's something we've been talking about over the course of this year is yeah. the, the remastering trend, and this right. is another yes. remastering effort. And but so it's it's at least embellished with more material. Yeah, I mean, if you look, it's at like some, a one point five. Well, you know, there were four enemies on the screen in the early version. Now there are eight. You do get an upgrade if you've played the game before. Yeah, I think you have reason enough to play it again if you liked the game before. If you enjoyed it, it's yeah, the same game though. It is also if you've played a lot of Monster Hunter, you're gonna feel very very familiar in here. The thing that I think that Monster Hunter has over this is that they don't take themselves quite so seriously. There's a sense of fun and lightness and a sense of humor about itself. And there's also, oh, they've done so many iterations on Monster Hunter, and now you're climbing all over the beasts and stuff like that. I miss the uh, cats that cook <laughs> cook things and yeah. make things for you. You don't have that here. You do find a cat in this damn game, yeah. though, with two tails. But everything's very hyper-serious. And it's a little silly that it's so serious, but I sure love the Oni. The Oni creatures are incredible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Listen, Tukadim Kawami, I hope I said that correctly. <laughs> what are you going to give this game? It gets an eight from me. How about you? It gets a seven from me. <laughs>